All right, so I've got uh, this question with me right here. So let's try to find the value of x. How do you think, or what do you think is the procedure to do in order for us to find the value of x? I think I've, uh, I've done a couple of questions of uh, this nature. By now, you must be able to find the value of x without uh, challenges. Okay, so basically, you look at the power which is right here. This is power 3. So you have to make sure that uh, you also have uh, a power 3 on this x right here on the base so that uh, we have the same thing here and the same thing here. Okay. Now, we don't just write. We have to follow some certain rules. And uh, mostly it's uh, rules of indices. Okay. So we have x power x power 3 here is equal to... 2 power root over 2. So basically, after doing this, you just uh, apply the power 3 here. And the same thing that uh, is done to the left side must be done to the right side. And that's what we have. Okay. So this power 3 will come right here. So it will be x power 3, x power 3. Good. We have now the same thing here, here and here. So here, in case you are wondering, I've just used the, the laws of indices. So we know that the power which is right here will be multiplied by this power here, the power over this, which is uh, this one here. So it will come in front here. It's equal to here 2 power 3 root over the 2. Also, this power will be multiplied by this power, just like that. Okay. So now, from this stage, we, we still need to, to play out something. To the left side, we have balanced. But to the right side, it's not yet balanced. We have to get the same thing here as uh, the power here. Okay. We're going to say x power 3 power x power 3 is equal to. Here, we, we shall write a 2 power 2 and a 2 power 1, okay? Uh, brackets and the power, uh, root, uh, power root of 2 here, okay? Hopefully, you can see what is happening here. If we nicely follow the laws of indices, you find that uh, the bases, when the bases are the same, you add the powers. So this is 2 and the 2 here. So the powers, when we add them, 2 plus 1, it's 3. And this is what we have right here. So this and this are the same. Okay. Now from this stage, we shall say x power 3, x power 3 there is equal to, here we shall write a 2 power 2, and here it will be root of 2 power, uh, power, power 2. Okay. So let me just explain on this one. I don't want you to get confused. I think you can see that this and this right here are the same. Okay. Uh, where I've put uh, root of 2 power 2 is the same as 2 because we know that this power and the root will cancel. We just remain with, uh, with the 2 right here. Here we can uh, clean up our work. So we shall have uh, x power 3 x power 3 is equal to here 2 root over 2 and the power 2 root over a 2. So this is what, uh, what we're getting. We know that uh, the power, when you've got similar powers, this and this, you can factor out them. They, it can come here, okay? So this is what, uh, what we've done here. So from here, we can say x power 3 x power 3 is equal to, actually, here we just say, since now the base and the power are the same, and here the base and the power are the same, so we can say x power 3 is equal to 2 root over a 2. Okay, so now to solve for x, remember we have x power 3. To solve for x, we just apply the 1 over 3, so that this and this can cancel. So our solution will be 2 root of 2 
1 over 3. And if, if you want, you can end here, or if you want to simplify it further, you can say x is equal to uh, root over a 2. Okay. So when you use the laws of indices, it will come and give you this solution. Okay. So this is what uh, we we need to do on this one. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sechamba Jacob. Bye-bye.